are going through the biggest revolution in media that we've ever seen, and I don't think we're giving it enough credit. The gatekeepers are completely out of control. Sure. They've, they've lost every piece of their control. No more BBC or CNN or Fox controlling who gets on the air or who has the platform to write. And it doesn't cost us anything. And more importantly, to promote, it doesn't cost us anything. Holy fuck. We are entering a effing golden age for literature. Let me tell you why. Poetry has been quote unquote in decline. Poetry has been quote unquote nobody gives a shit about it. Maybe people have stopped searching the word poetry in google.com. I recently distributed a screenshot demonstrating on Google Trends that poetry is on a slow decline and Tumblr is on a rapid increase. What does it effing mean? Fucking break out of my shell. Fucking break me out. Break me out. I can't get out. Fucking, I'm inside you. I'm inside your fucking mind. There are millions of people clicking around every day looking for content that is funny, that is interesting, that is moving, that is life-changing. But if you go on tumblr.com, what do you see? You see a stream of content. You have a dashboard. All the people you follow, their content goes down your effing stream, you know? A lot of times, half of what you see is reblogged material from other people. You'll see videos, pictures, text. My body is a wonderland doll, yeah, man. John Mayer, if you are listening to this, effing call me. John, dial me on the phone. People are not categorically opposed to poetry. Log on to a site like fuckyahelvetica.tumblr.com. You'll see many people reblogging typographical photographs. Well, heck, you know, my poems are in Helvetica. I put one of my poems on Fuck Yeah Helvetica. It got over 200 notes. Got liked or reblogged by over 200 people. To put a limit on poetry. Nobody cares about poetry. Poetry can only have about this much readership. You know, poetry can only sell about this much. That's ridiculous. In a world where people are just looking at their goddamn feed, looking for content, people are not filtering out. People are no longer going to the bookstore as much. They still go, but it's not so important that they go to the poetry section. They're on Tumblr, they're going to see your poetry if it gets reblogged. Grey's Anatomy, you know? You ever see that show? I haven't. Never seen it in my goddamn life. Don't give a fuck about it, to be honest. Here's the thing. People are watching viral videos. Why can't the videos be poems? People are sharing mp3s on a mass scale. Why can't the mp3s be poems? People are not categorically opposed to poetry. So, it don't make no goddamn effing sense to criticize poetry categorically. Some poetry's boring, you know? Some poetry's effing exciting. Some poetry looks very good. Some poetry looks boring as f. Some poetry makes me LOL. You ever hear of this thing called LOL? Maybe in your little world, you don't know what f effing LOL means. I'll tell you, laugh out loud. That's what it means. You see, poetry itself contains as much energy as the Hollywood industry, as much energy as a stage play on Broadway. All it needs is practitioners who are alive to bring it alive. The reason it's not appreciated because it hasn't shown any guts, hasn't shown any dance, it hasn't shown any moxie. Jay-Z just posted a video saying he thinks rap should be considered as poetry. I agree, I also think poetry should be considered as rap. I think poetry should be valued the way rap is. What does poetry have in common with itself? Not a lot. If you look at the history of poetry, you'll notice one thing about poetry. Poetry doesn't give a fuck. No, I can't. You'll die. I know, but I need to. No! Welcome to your new home. Is my poetry boring or exciting? Here's how you tell. Do you feel it in your heart? Look yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, what do I want to do every day for the rest of my life? Do that. You know, if you love knitting, you know, go knit your frickin' poem. Knit your poem and post a picture on tumblr.com. I love graphic design, so what am I going to do, you know? I'm going to make these minimalist 
poems here, you know? These posters, you know, and all this. Um, that's me, you know? That's me, you know? That's me. If you're good at graffiti, you like graffiti, present your poems as graffiti. And assert that you're a poet, too, because that'll help me out. That'll help us all out, you know, to make more freedom in the art form. It takes time, you know, it takes a while. People find you online without any gatekeepers helping you out, but it takes a little while, you know. Some people like it, but they don't click share. Find your friends, build me up, you know, grow me, grow, foaming. You know, I'm like foaming out. I'm like a foam. You ever have drain cleaner? I, that's me, you know? That's me in your drain. I go in, I foam out, I find it, but I'm, guess what? I'm eco-friendly. I go into your drain, and yes, I unclog it. Do this with me. Help me build. There is a great opportunity, you know? There's great opportunity. It's a gigantic opportunity for poets. We can usurp the power. It doesn't have to be a given anymore that people avoid poetry. In fact, it won't be a given anymore because whether or not people like it, poets use the internet. One of these days, you will see in your friend feed, one of your friends will have posted a link to my poetry. You don't have to click on it, but you may be intrigued.